I went to go see The Flash. So let me give you what we asked listeners. We said, how many stars do you give The Flash? 56% said one star. Wow. Only 8% gave it five stars. Definitely was not a one star. Okay. It was not a five star. Is Two it, and a half. I three? would say, you know what I would give it? Three. I would give it a four star. Ooh. Because it was... Just a fun superhero movie. Now, how much are you going to attribute that to Michael Keaton? All right. If we're going to go by a one to 10 scale, okay, I would give it a seven and a half. And a point and a half of that is Michael Keaton. So the movie's only like a six to you. It's a fun superhero movie you want to watch in the summertime. It's like, it's like phase one Marvel movie. If you liked the 89 Batman, it's great to see okay. Michael Keaton back. He does a great job. People are dogging on the Flash movie too much, and it doesn't deserve that. Even if you don't like, as I imagine it's because of Ezra Miller that it's getting a one star, but Ezra did a pretty good job as an actor. Now, as a human, Ezra's a POS, but as <laughs> right? an actor, the movie, in my opinion, is a fun watch. It's a four star movie, in my opinion. I'll watch it again because I enjoyed watching Keaton. Sasha, who played Supergirl, was really good too, even though her part was really short. Um, that might be a little, I might be a little biased on that because I ran into Sasha. Uh, in Dallas a couple of weeks ago, she was promoting the movie, and I almost accidentally hit her with my leg, uh, which I thought would be interesting. Who would win that fight? Uh, the man, the boy of titanium, or the girl of steel? Who would uh, who would win? Didn't well, actually. Let's put, that, let's put that poll out there since you're yeah, yeah. it up. Yeah, come on. If I would have <laughs> accidentally kicked Sasha Supergirl yeah. in the leg, I caught myself last minute because I wasn't paying attention. I was on my phone and I kicked my leg out right as she was walking by, and uh, I said, "Oh, I'm so sorry." But if those legs made contact, which leg would break? The boy of titanium, me, or the girl of steel? It looks like the general public is kind of more in line with you. I'm seeing a lot of 3.5s, 4s, 7s, 7.5, uh, 84% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's a good time movie. It's not uh, the best movie I've ever seen. It's not a superhero movie, like the best superhero movie since The Dark Knight. None of that. So you're. I walked in with no expectations, how, by the way. How long is it? Two and a half hours, like yeah, everything is these I, days. That's probably part of it then. Well, everything's two and a half hours now. I don't know when we decided we were going to make movies two and a half hours. Like a when? really good movie was two and a half hours, and if it was an excellent movie, it was three hours. I was happy with it, but I also, again, I walked in with zero expectations. I think if you walk in with the expectation from what Tom Cruise said was one of the best superhero movies you ever saw, or whatever he said, whatever that quote was. Is that what Did, Tom Cruise said? Yeah. About The Flash? Yeah. Are you, you going to listen to him for a movie review? I mean, he knows his stunts. No. <laughs> and I don't think that's him. If you look at him now, he doesn't look the same. Something, somebody, I think they switched him out in that yeah, whole dude, Scientology it's the eyes. thing. There's something it's, about Something weird about his eyes. He does, his face doesn't look the same anymore. Well, well he got old. old. <laughs> no, it's different. If you look at it, he looks like a whole other person. Well, he got plastic surgery probably. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, then he needs to, you know... Get that shit. Tighten up. My last critique of The Flash, and this is what everyone's saying, uh, that they hated about it, but it, was, it, it wasn't it was distracting at all, was the CGI. The CGI is comically bad in some places. The director said that it was intentional. Was it? I don't know. But it, to me, I've seen way worse CGI, and this, to me, wasn't distracting that much because he's in, like, the Flash world. So it kind of is comical. It kind of goes with the real... I don't know. I, I didn't have any problem with it. Uh, no one's complaining about like the battle CGI's, like the one in the real world where they're all fighting and stuff. No one's complaining about that. It's only in certain scenes where it's a little comical. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be on purpose, but to me, it wasn't something that took away from the movie. 